Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump just released nasty note Obama left him that he did not want Americans to see, says it all. Whenever a president leaves the White House for the very last time, they always leave their predecessor a handwritten letter as a token of respect and reconciliation. It was reported by CNN that the letter Barack Obama left was no different. Obama's letter went like this. Congratulations on a remarkable run. Millions have placed their hopes in you, and all of us, regardless of party, should hope for expanded prosperity and security during your tenure. This is a unique office, without a clear blueprint for success, so I don't know that any advice from me will be particularly helpful. Still, let me offer a few reflections from the past eight years. First, we've both been blessed, in different ways, with great good fortune. Not everyone is so lucky. It's up to us to do everything we can, to, build more ladders of success for every child and family that's willing to work hard. Second, American leadership in this world really is indispensable. It's up to us, through action and example, to sustain the international order that's expanded steadily since the end of the Cold War, and upon which our own wealth and safety depend. Third, we are just temporary occupants of this office. That makes us guardians of those democratic institutions and traditions, like rule of law separation of powers, equal protection and civil liberties, that our forebears fought and bled for. Regardless of the push and pull of daily politics, it's up to us to leave those instruments of our democracy at least as strong as we found them. And finally, take time, in the rush of events and responsibilities, for friends and family. They'll get you through the inevitable rough patches. Michelle and I wish you and Melania the very best as you embark on this great adventure, and know that we stand ready to help in any ways which we can. Good luck and Godspeed. Bo. The letter he left is nothing like the way he and his associates have acted in this past year and a half of President Trump's tenure. The words on that letter reveal what can be considered a conciliatory outgoing commander-in-chief with four items of advice for his successor. Written out longhand on White House stationery and slipped into the top drawer of the Resolute Desk, the 275-word letter captures an outgoing president eager to instill in Trump the vast responsibilities and uncertain parameters of the job responsibilities which most of us can now freely say Obama failed miserably at. Let's break down the letter. First, he explains all the ways they are blessed to be presidents, although in Obama's case it turned out to be more than just a blessing since his net worth grew by leaps and bounds. Second, he tries to explain to Trump how important it is to remain as world leaders, maybe he is talking about how he turned Iran into a superpower? Third, he tries to explain how important it is for the president to be the guardians of those democratic institutions and traditions, such as the rule of law, separation of powers, equal protection and civil liberties. Some compare this to the way Obama possibly corrupted the FBI and had them spying on a private citizen? CNN continued. The words reveal a conciliatory outgoing commander-in-chief with four items of advice for his successor, whose fitness for the job he'd spent the previous months openly questioning. Congratulations on a remarkable run, Obama wrote in his opening line. Millions have placed their hopes in you, and all of us, regardless of party, should hope for expanded prosperity and security during your tenure. Written out longhand on White House stationery and slipped into the top drawer of the Resolute Desk, the 275-word letter captures an outgoing president eager to instill in Trump the vast responsibilities and uncertain parameters of the job. Obama, when writing the letter, didn't disclose the content even to his closest aides. Since then, however, Trump has shown the letter to visitors in the Oval Office or his private White House residence. CNN obtained a copy from someone Trump showed it to. This is a unique office, without a clear blueprint for success, so I don't know that any advice from me will be particularly helpful," Obama wrote. Still, let me offer a few reflections from the past eight years. Obama reminds Trump, a billionaire businessman, that they've both been blessed in different ways, with great good fortune. Not everyone is so lucky, Obama said. It's up to us to do everything we can, to, build more ladders of success for every child and family that's willing to work hard. He advises Trump that American leadership is indispensable and encourages him through action and example to sustain post-Cold War international order. And he offers a warning against eroding the tenets of democracy in the name of political gain. We are just temporary occupants of this office, Obama wrote. That makes us guardians of those democratic institutions and traditions, like rule of law, separation of powers, equal protection and civil liberties, that our forebears fought and bled for. 
regardless of the push and pull of daily politics, it's up to us to leave those instruments of our democracy at least as strong as we found them, he said. That passage, read seven months after Trump took office, appears prescient. Trump has been accused of flouting rule of law and has broadsides against federal judges and his own attorney general. His verbal assaults on Congress have led to charges that he's disregarding the constitutionally enshrined separate but equal branches of government. Trump, however, is said to cherish Obama's missive. Upon reading it on Inauguration Day, he attempted to place a phone call to the former president expressing his gratitude, according to both a current White House official and a former Obama aide. His predecessor was traveling west to California with his family, and couldn't take the call. When one of Obama's aides reached back out to the White House to return the call, the new president's staffer said Trump just wanted to say thank you for the note, and wanted Obama to get the message. The men never connected directly. Depending on how one reads this, they might have very different interpretations of it. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.